The Arizona Coyotes broke the CBA? I mean, you might be a little shocked to hear that they didn't, but we'll, t- we'll talk about it on this episode of Locked on Coyotes. Your Locked on Coyotes, your daily podcast on the Arizona Coyotes, part of the Locked on Podcast Network, your team every day. Welcome, everyone, to today's episode of Locked on Coyotes, brought to you by Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use the code Locked on NHL for $20 off your first purchase. I'm your host, Robin Leonio. That's Matthew Jacobson beside me. I want to th- and we want to thank everyone for making this show your first listen every day. We are free and available on all platforms, including on YouTube and the SiriusXM app. We got a great show lined up for you guys today. We are responding to... An article on the New York Post uh, that said they, they, they just pretty much said that the you know the Coyotes Coyotes players multiple Coyotes players lodged complaints um, towards the CBA against the Arizona Coyote uh, I mean towards the NHL PA against the uh, against the Arizona Coyotes and uh, I don't think it's any surprise Matt that the author of this article is Larry Brooks. Look, I, I I didn't think I'd be getting paid to rip on the New York Post. I, I guess I'm I'm now on a political podcast. But there's there's your zinger for the day. Yeah, no, I'm not going to pretend I know anything about Larry Brooks. The name sounds familiar, but I will say this: uh, when when your reporting is as as idiotic as this was, and he tried to walk it back. All right, I, I probably should have already had this pulled up just so I, I can I can read. But I guess I'll pull it up real quick just so we can read this together. And while you're doing that, I just do do want to give you that background. Do you remember the maybe some of the interviews with John Tortorella when he was like in uh, in New York of a reporter just kind of just annoying the hell out of him and and John Tortorella just going haywire? That's Larry Brooks. My God. All right. Uh, Where the hell is this statement? Because the the exact wording was, here we go. Quote, Slapshot has also learned the Coyotes players filed multiple complaints with the PA during the season about substandard travel, lodging, and logistical issues that were in violation of the collective bargaining agreement that will be addressed later this week. Uh, Close quote. He literally tried to have a little spat with Craig Morgan on Twitter. And I also wanted to read this too because I knew you just got his quote there. In the article, then he follows up with, yeah, I'm not engaging in a back and forth here, but I did not report that the PA has filed any complaints or grievances with the league, only that players had. Uh, and literally what you said here, I read the quote first, you said that it was in violation of the CBA. You cannot report that with no evidence to support it and then be like, oh, man, I'm just uh, – I, I didn't really say it. You did. That is a serious allegation. You wouldn't be casually talking about CBA violations months later. All right. Like, and apparently, like, one of the reports, and this is like from a third, fourth party source. So, Brain of Salt was like them staying in a three star hotel or something. And I was like, oh, man. Oh, geez. Millionaires are crying again. But it's like, This entire thing was a non-story. And then Craig Morgan has to, like, reach out to, what, like, 15 different people to get a basic answer for something that should have never even been a question? Right. Yeah, no, it it absolutely baffles me that that here at the local media – and I and I'm gonna use the term we here because we are local media. We have to play it we have to play defense here. Cause like, sure, like maybe we're not supposed to hype up and you know, say the coyotes are right on every turn. We 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 criticize the team when we're supposed to. Um but you know, when you go ahead and make serious allegations like that, um, that are not substantiated. We're gonna go after you. And I'm and and you know, very much respect for Craig Morgan for 
you know, make, you know, for going out and all the, uh, you know, all the research he needed, reached out to P- to, to the NHLPA. He was like, yeah, there were complaints during the season. All of them were taken care of. There's nothing really, nothing here. The, the worst thing that, that was allegedly, like, filed, and also first the, the NHLPA also confirmed that, like, all were resolved and nothing broke the CBA, was they were going from what? It was Edmonton to Colorado, and instead of uh, staying overnight in Edmonton, they hopped right on, on the planes. So it's like, yeah, it's kind of a long drive to get to the Edmonton airport, then you got to go through customs. And, like, it, it's a bit of a pain uh, in, in, in the, the, the rear end, if you will. So, like, sure, that's dumb, and it's like, oh, cost-effective, this and that. It's not my money. I just... One bet, one long night. I, I think you guys can can figure it out. But it's like complaints are are common. They even said for to add context, mm-hmm. complaints are common. But yep. when you know Craig's reaching out to everyone's agents and in about an hour and a half span, I, I'm just roughly like two thirds. He did say like most of them got back to him, so I'm just gonna say two thirds. There's just just me trying to add a little bit of context with a non-official number. But about two thirds of them like. Yeah, we don't know what the hell you're talking about. Like, what 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 are you on about? Like, with within no time whatsoever. Like, dumb, dumb, idiotic. He then tries to to dial back and be like, "Oh, I didn't really say that, bro. You did. We got the screenshot. If it would have just said, all right, you know, like we also have reports that there was like an abnormally high amount of of complaints, which." Is fair. The, the Coyotes are playing in mullet. There was more complaints this year than than in most years, especially the first couple. To say. Especially <laughs> the first couple games when they had that awkward locker room situation, which was only for a week. <laughs> yeah, legit, straight up. That would that also makes logical sense. Instead of just saying that and that will be discussed, you had to irresponsibly throw in the allegation of violating the CBA. And then be like, I, I, I didn't say anything. You did. Terrible reporting. All right. And and when a, a couple of yahoos that are that are hosting a podcast have more journalistic integrity than you, are you kidding me? And even I like sent over the the art. Like I got added with this this morning. All right. After a little bit of the person that added me not giving a source. Uh, I, someone else said it. I think the guy's from here. So I Googled it, found this link. I even sent it to Craig to see if he was aware of it, which I got a, a very brief response. I'm aware of it. And then we got the update like 40 minutes later. I did more work there. And that was just a Google search. And hey, have you heard about this? <laughs> then the dude that published this for the bloody New York Post. Are you kidding me? It, it absolutely baffles me. And and again, I know you've said you don't know too much about Larry Brooks. This is not, t- like, too far off from classic Larry Brooks. He, like, he, like, a lot of his articles are meant to produce a reaction like this. Um, and, again, there's a reason why, like, you know, some of the most famous coaching, the coach versus reporter spats is John Tortorella, you know, one of the most, you know, vocal coaches and Larry Brooks. Like it's, it, it, there, there's no secret behind it. It is absolutely, absolutely insane. Um, but we still got more to get to on this. Um, we're going to go ahead and, you know, I got, you know, a couple other things I want to say, but we do have to uh, pay some bills and hear from our sponsors on the show. And today's episode is brought to you by Game Time. I want to tell you guys that buying tickets doesn't have to be stressful. I know it, you know, to many people, it has been. You look at a ticket website, you find a ticket you like, for it might be cheap. Hidden fees all of a sudden make it a lot more expensive than you expected. And when when you go to that to that event, whether it's a sports game, a concert, or whatever, you have an obstruct, obstruct, obstructed view, excuse me, and it, it just does not look good. You don't have a good time. Game Time is the... The app that is supposed to fix that, that is designed to fix that. But with game time, you can see pictures of your seats before you even purchase them. You can look at the online pricing so you won't get surprised by those surprise fees. 
Plus, they do have the guaranteed lowest prices with event cancellation protection. So you can go ahead and check out Game Time with their flash deals and their super low prices. Just download the Game Time app and create an account. Use the code Locked On NHL for twenty dollars off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem the code Locked On NHL for twenty dollars off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. And 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 Matt, let, let's continue on this because it, it you know what what really baffles me is just the fact that like I feel like. Right now, and again, this is kind of going on to something that's very on par with something I'd expect from Larry Brooks, is, is cre- again, created a reaction. Why? Because the Coyotes are down right now. Beca- and, and there's a report, and, you know, the, you know it's supposed to happen to, uh, at tomorrow, or the time, um, by the time most of you guys are listening to this, it, is tom- it will be tomorrow, the NHL. And the NHLPA will, you know, will have some meetings discussing various different things. And the state of the Arizona Coyotes is one of them. But that's not what's on the agenda. They just want freaking clarity on the situation of what happened last week. No, the NHLPA wants the situation to be over. But like, yeah, like in in, in general. Also, what do, what do you mean we're gonna pay the bills? You're getting paid. I thought this was all all volunteer work. I thought <laughs> uh, this is all like a tax write off or something. Yeah, no, it, it's it, people. It, it's funny because I've been saying it for a while that people will make YouTube videos or or bad articles or whatever about the coyotes because it generates clicks. And I've heard the response so many times, and each time I laugh at the absurdity and stupidity of. Oh, that's right. I, I would talk about the smallest market in the league, the the team with the smallest fan base for clicks. You see, that's a dishonest way to put it because what's really popular is bashing the Coyotes because the vast majority of other fan bases, including the largest fan bases, uh, just to name one, Toronto, absolutely despise the idea of the Coyotes having a team and love to trash talk it. Literally, like, I could do it tomorrow uh, just as an experiment. I could just make a video where I'm just lying through my teeth. Like, yet, like everything I'm about to say is never happened. I'm literally just making this up for effect. I could be like, yeah, while at Mullet Arena, uh, I found out the Coyotes weren't paying for this or that. I also found out the Arizona Coyotes were punching holes in walls at the West End and, and the Northeast End. Oh, on top of that, they also uh, – their staffers – or, you know, assaulted a couple of staffers at the arena. Like, I could make a video just making stuff up and calling the team an embarrassment. Lightning rod, I'm going to get a lot of views. 100%, because everyone loves to hear any kind of potential negative, like any kind of press that, that they can get for the Arizona Coyotes that they can use to attack. That is what's going on, and... And, uh, you know, Larry Brooks has done that as a reporter. Um, there are other reporters out there. Yeah, I, I mean, I can name drop them if I want to. Uh, I feel like it doesn't really do any good to name drop anymore. I, the reason why I'm doing Larry Brooks right now, like, and I am dro- name dropping Larry Brooks, is because he put himself out there. To, um, you wanted the attention, buddy. Here's, the, here's that attention you ordered. All right. The fact that, that a normal what what was today tuesday when we're recording a normal monday doesn't doesn't matter whatever you see this a normal day at work for me has to turn into me dealing with this stupidity because you're an idiot you're an irresponsible reporter now i got to deal with it that's why i am am quite ticked off i am i am rather perturbed because Stupid people can't just shut their mouths when they don't have confirmed reports. Again, here's a way to rewrite it. I already gave you the constructive criticism, all right, but since you're already doubling down, we're going to see more stupidity later. But you get this one for free. There was, you know, we're hearing reports. There was an abnormal amount of complaints to the Players Association in regards to the Arizona Coyotes, and it will be discussed. It will likely be discussed later this week when the NHLPA meets with the NHL. Boom. There you go. Accurate. Gets the point across. Doesn't get to this weird hyperbolic. You see, they were breaking the CBA like, bro, there's not a single outstanding one. The, the Deputy Commissioner Bill Daly is like, we're not aware of any CBA violations. Like, that is a major thing. I, just, I, I don't get how 
homeboy is so like desperate for clicks, you needed to throw that last little line in there. Because out of everything in the article, this is what got the most traction. But remember, no one cares about the smallest market in the league. No one's talking about them. They don't. This wasn't just literally a, a, a litmus test, if I'm using that correctly. I'm tired right now for how if you, you throw anything vaguely negative, it's going to catch fire. And now we all got to deal with it. So, like, like I know this is a family-friendly show, but get bent. Because, like, I am sick and tired of idiots like you making my day a pain in the arse. All right? I want a normal day. We ain't got to deal with this. All right? But thankfully, we didn't have any ideas for a show today, so I get to bash you. So, there's my soapbox. And also, like, just stop. It's pathetic. Plus, Absolutely pathetic. Plus, I, you know... It's it's becoming more prevalent, you know. It's a lot of the people at my day job know that I host this show, uh, and some people will come up to me and ask me about some just anything that's coming up the Coyotes right after the election. Oh, the Coyotes lost. What do you think? And I'm like, look, you already know what I think. Um, in the case of you know case case like this, someone comes in that comes up about this, and I'm like, that didn't happen. That does that sounds really off. And I go in to go see, see it up. I'm like, yeah, hmm. in, in, in that exact way. Like, I am just, I was just, you know, a loss for words on seeing a report like that come out when, again, you said you were able to go and just do what? In, what was it? Maybe an hour of research to find out it wasn't, it, it, was, it was completely just a bunch of Yahoo. All we had to do as Coyotes fans was just wait for Craig Morgan. Because, like I said, the only thing I did was after I didn't get a response from the person who added me, all right, someone else responded that they thought it was, that they got the information from New York Post. So I just Googled New York Post Coyotes, found the exact quote. There was nothing substantiating it, and it was clearly just throwing it out in the wind. And the only thing I did was DM that to Craig Morgan and be like, yo, have you heard about this? Like, and that, that, is literally the equivalent of doing nothing, all right? Like, that is not, like, being a journalist. That's not being a reporter. That's just, okay, uh, this person is an expert in this market. Have you heard anything? And just waiting for a response. Us, as Coyotes fans, just waiting for Craig Morgan to say something. Did better reporting than this guy. I, I, ne- I need everyone watching to understand. All right, I need you guys to get down to this level of the dirt. I need you guys to dig a little bit with me, all right, and and just realize how pathetic that is, all right? Like, literally how pathetic that is. All you have to do is reword it and then be like, hey, yo, maybe I shouldn't have put the blurb about the CBA, and that's it. Like, the fact that uh, you're telling me right now Craig Morgan has access to talk to all these people and a homeboy over here didn't have anyone on on speed dial to ask a single question to be like, "Yo, is there any truth?" Like, literally, like, I I can't get over how idiotic the reporting is. I can't. I am buying time a little bit, but I literally can't. I wanna I wanna slap someone. Like, yo, it, 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 if if you're gonna get schooled. By a fat guy that works two part-time jobs and can't afford to live on his own. Like, quit your job. Just stop. And again, I did nothing. All I did was a Google search and I asked someone, have you heard about this? That is it! And just waited! I just waited! (laughs) Yeah, but because Uh. of the history of the Coyotes, people ate it up like it was real and just accepted it as fact like it's just it's in the lexicon now it's 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 canon that's now canon to life they're like oh that sounds like a coyotes thing so why not because the coyotes have had not like maybe something like problem like that but they've had had you know major problems in the past i mean yes you know comment on what you may of the athletic article that athletic article that was released a couple years ago about what happened you know, um, 
like around that t- pandemic time with you know paying your dude, dude can i just, like like can i just like for a second talk about the the concept of that article and how literally she quoted one former employee for that article one it was one and the thing is like there is some evidence to back it up but the fact that allegedly it was talking about the culture before Marillo came in and then kind of the reaction to flush everything out. And then it was just like packaged into now nah, it's all just Marullo, like terrible reporting immediately. Not a single person asked any questions. Not a single person was like, wow, you only quoted one former employee. You know, like not a single person was like, there might be some inaccuracies here, or maybe something doesn't add up. Like all, here, all you I mean, gotta do is just type it and they'll believe it. <laughs> I mean, and here's the thing though. Like, it's not like what's being what was being reported then was completely groundbreaking. Because ask not just any NHL team, ask any sports team about the culture in the office. The chances are it's not perfect. It's not like I mean, some might be better than others, but there's a lot of ones that are just not good. Mm-hmm. Because you know, there's lots of, you know, you know, you know, different sides that just don't communicate with with each other and they just don't get along. It's like sports teams are like clicks. You have certain, you have, you know, marketing sales, you got uh, tickets, whatever it is, they all do their own stuff and whatever it is, like, what do you, what do you expect? You expect them to just get together and, you know, say hey we're we're a perfect team it's not even that i can break it down more simply than that not it wasn't even that long ago i think it was like three months ago correct my time on i don't care right now all right not even that long ago the minority owner of the coyotes the former majority owner of the coyotes who sold the controlling stake to marullo right got arrested for allegedly a domestic violence scenario that given stuff that i've heard about that that interesting individual myself i'm not allowed to repeat i believe a hundred percent you're telling me right now it's not logical that someone as incompetent someone as in my opinion not the opinion of locked on or the network or robin but in my opinion someone that's as terrible of a person as barraway you're telling me right now he would run a phenomenal and healthy work environment. Just put right. two and two together. Use your brains. Ask any follow-up questions. Again, I'm not a journalist. I am a community college dropout. I literally, as uneducated as it comes, I am a literally a dropout. And I can at least ask a couple of questions. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Who cares? Guess what? You're always going to be wrong on something. You're going to look dumb on this or that. I've looked dumb many a time. Ask a gosh darn question and stop being what sheep, literal sheep. And that is the thing, because when you go out and this is, you know, comes from the very core of, you know, my, my my upbringing as a journalist, I went to journalism school, and the very thing is, you know, is it, it, you know, if we start get st- start getting complacent, stop asking questions, what's you know, how, what kind of progress can be made? If you actually like take negative press or take whatever and and just report it as is, and just like, hey, this happened, rather than or like this maybe happened, who knows? I heard it from one source. Uh, you know, I'm the kind of person that just what doesn't like, you know what, like you said, you like to go to Craig. I'm the kind of person that will be like, all right, you know, so long as I have the resources, I'll reach out to this person. I'll reach out to this person. I will talk to as many people as I can and ask questions before I run something. That's just how, that's how it works as a journalist. That is your job. I, uh... Even I know, again, I want to reiterate it one more time. Community college dropout speaking here. Even I know basic journalists like like, like fundamentals to independent sources. 
And that's also, a, that's at the bare it, minimum. Literally minimum. And also, like, people might think it's like political speak or whatever. And sure, I guess to a, a degree it could be. But throwing in the word allegedly, reportedly, there are reports of uh, one source said, even like for like studies or whatever, study suggests that when you have those kind of disclaimers, those, those ways to kind of add context to preface things, you are doing a, a better job reporting. And we don't have that. We because don't that, do this. In that case, when you provide those kind of disclaimers or additives, it gives the notion that your story is still developing, that you have the, init the initial facts that might come up, but more can come out and more. And it could very well disprove the exact thing you purported in the first place, but at least you are saying that this story is developing. Mm -hmm. Even as simple, just as simple as, you know, the headline report. And then it's like, whatever the claim is like, like, Again, again, a, a, a community college dropout should not need to give you lessons on this. Like, like I, I, the amount of times of my own coverage that I'll be like, if I'm not 100% sure on this or that, or like when I was covering the TED and I was still trying to wrap my head around some of the concepts or uh, make sure I'm getting the facts right on, on this tax break or how this works, I would preface it with, um, to my understanding, this is how it was explained to me, stuff like that to show, like, I'm still, like, either the story's still developing, things could change, uh, I'm still not 100% sure I'm grasping the concept correctly, but still trying to break down as best as I possibly can, literally just trying to do, like, responsible reporting. And, and like, like, this is what we got to deal with. And, like, people wonder why Coyotes fans are so bitter. Like, they wonder why, like, oh, Coyotes fans are so defensive. Bro. Again. Coyotes like, fans, like, you get you can say anything. so much. <laughs> you can they say get... anything. You can make up anything. I could, like, anonymously, like, 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 tip one of these idiots and be like, yeah, I saw Javier Gutierrez kicking a puppy on, on Mill Ave. And they'll run with it because they're dumb. <coughs> It, it really, it, it, it really, you know, baffles me. And you can tell that to other listeners that both of us are pretty upset by this. It's just time and it just ha Cause like, sure. Like maybe if this was a one-off and Larry Brooks made this comment and like, and you know, the coyotes weren't in the situation they were and that all these negatives were put pressed and come out. I'd be like, like, yeah, dude, like you could have done better, whatever. Yeah. But this keeps happening. I'll, I'll do you one better. I even if it is a one-off, like you still like need to have some journalistic integrity. Like again, oh, again I'm with you, but still, some like, idiot I... podcaster right here should not have more integrity by asking a couple follow-up questions or, hey, where is your source or or is there any other sources? Because this is very vague. Like like an idiot like me should not have like like better instincts or, or or a better reaction or whatever i don't know what the hell to label it i don't know what to label it all right because again I, I want to i want to like like emphasize as much as possible i am not a damn journalist i am not like like a good i'm not good at my job i just get on the mic and yell because that's what we do nowadays uh, and i'm, I'm just I'm, I'm quite perturbed all right but the fact that like i could could do a better job like dude even if it's a one-off Put it right there. Allegedly breaking the CBA, or one report said that they might, they may have violated the CBA. Put something in there to make it responsible and not just whatever the hell that was. But or yeah, just whatever. just even as simple as just source. Easy, but no, it's like and, I, and then the 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 absolute like like goal to be like oh well, like i'm i'm not going to get it into a back and forth i didn't say like, you did you did just admit it just say yeah i might have messed up i should have you know been a little more responsible with it that's it or even just change the wording in the article and say nothing 
I don't want an apology. I want you to stop making my day more of a pain in my rear end. It, it, yeah, we, we, we just want to see things turn around and when stuff like this comes out, it makes it harder for us. We can't live a normal day. What is that? I mean, at least it's free content, I guess, but like, yeah, hooray, hooray. I, I had, I had to waste valuable time in my life that I'm not going to get back. And with how fat I am, with how clogged my arteries are, I'm not going to get very long on this earth. I, I might, I might reach 40 and just heal over. And I, I got to waste precious time trying to, trying to get a couple of answers and trying to do a couple small Google searches to get some basic public, uh, publicly available information because you're an idiot thank you thank you very much thanks for being a, an absolute pain in my rear end thanks for making my day just that much worse but, but, but more than anything thanks for giving me the avenue to vent all right get some free content out of it and hopefully get a couple of extra people that are here just to be mad because we all know they broke the CPA, even though if they did, we would have heard about it months ago and there probably would have been hefty fines. And it also could have derailed this entire thing they're doing in Tempe because, you know, breaking the CPA is kind of a major freaking deal. Made absolutely major allegation. And hey, you know what? If you're a Coyotes fan that wants to vent, the comment section is available with you guys. It's open. You can vent to us all you want. We'll hear you. Because we Yell, are we're venting scream. It's just scream. It's just <laughs> scream. I love it. Any final thoughts before we close things off? Because we are running out of time. No, I, 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 I'm good. All right. My, my wife preemptively woke me up from a nap, and I was pretty angry when I woke up. So now, like, I'm good. I'm ready to go to bed. And I don't want to be up at 6 in the morning to, to go set up for the damn bubble show or whatever the hell I'm doing. I hear that. Well, that's going to be it for today's episode of the Locked on Coyotes podcast. If you like what you heard, don't get to leave a review. Like, comment, subscribe if you have yet to already. We are available everywhere you get your podcasts, including on YouTube and the SiriusXM radio app. Don't forget to interact with us on social media. We're on Facebook, facebook.com slash Locked on Coyotes, and on Twitter at LO underscore Coyotes. I'm personally at Robin underscore Leonio. Matthew Jacobson is at the AZ Sports Guy. Interact with us, ask a question you might have. We might answer right back or on a future episode of the Locked On Coyotes podcast. And Amazing make sure to keep adding me with all your stupidity, please. Just, <laughs> just at me directly. I don't want to have peaceful mornings. I don't want to just listen to, to, to whatever the hell I was listening to on repeat for three hours while I'm doing work. No, I want to be stressed and, and annoyed. Please just keep doing that. Just love the interaction. I do. It's, 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 it's fantastic. But once again, thanks for thanks again, everyone, for listening to today's episode. Hope you guys are staying safe out there. Hope you guys are staying healthy. And don't forget to howl on.